there, it's Karen from Health Food and More out in a beautiful wildflower meadow today in midsummer. It's just perfect for filming. Um, this plant here, um, some of you may recognise if you live in the country, it's meadow sweet, which is botanically no known as Philippendula almaria. Now, meadow sweet gets its name because it is. Um, was traditionally used in brewing and it would be added into meat so it would make meat really sweet along with the honey. Um, its botanical name Philippendula is relatively new. It used to be called Aspiria ulmaria and Aspiria is quite interesting because that's where the name aspirin came from. So this plant is one of the natural sources of aspirin-like compounds. And so what the pharmacist did or the chemist did was they extracted out the, the active constituent of aspirin and they actually took the plant name as well. So they didn't just take the constituent, they took the name. And so we have aspirin, um, which as we know is a very useful medicinal drug. Um, it's anti-inflammatory like aspirin is, so we have this plant here that can be used to treat arthritis and inflammatory conditions. But nature is really clever and what she's done here with this plant is she's given us a really potent anti-inflammatory which at the same time can actually help with digestive problems. And one of the key problems that we have with conventional medicines that contain aspirin-like compounds or the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs is they're really, really irritant on the stomach. And so GPs tend not to use them nowadays, or if they do, they give you a meprazole at the same time. So you end up on two drugs instead of one drug. Whereas what nature's done here is she's given us this beautiful aspirin-rich plant that traditionally has also been used to treat stomach ulcers. So we actually have a plant that can be used to protect the stomach lining at the same time as actually getting the anti-inflammatory compounds that we're looking for. But it does much more than just treat the inflammation. What Meadowsweet does is it helps to regulate out the acid alkali balance in the body as well. And medical herbalists would see arthritis as being a condition of too much acidity in the blood. And so we would encourage a more alkaline diet and we would use alkalizing herbs to try and remedy that. And Meadowsweet is very good at reducing that acidity and pushing into us into a more alkaline state. So there we have three aspects of Meadowsweet that make it really useful for treating arthritic problems. Now, Traditionally, when we look at things like stomach ulcers, which is what we can use this plant for, um, we, you know, would prescribe herbs like meadowsweet or marshmallow, etc. We didn't understand that there was actually a bacterial aspect behind that. And what we've discovered with modern science is that a lot of stomach ulcers are related to a bacteria called Helicobacter which can then irritate the stomach and set up that whole inflammatory process. And I have a hunch that probably Meadowsweet is quite high in antibacterial compounds as well because it traditionally has treated these stomach ulcer problems. And if you smell, a med you smell Meadowsweet and give it a really, really good rub, which I'm doing now, you can smell the salicylic acid in it and it smells like germaline. Now we used to use germaline when I was younger for its antiseptic properties, for healing cuts and wounds, etc. So I think we have a wonderfully antiseptic plant here. Possibly it treats Helicobacter infection or has an action against that. There may be clinical evidence for that. I, I haven't actually researched that myself. Um, but, you know, very, very useful and one that I just turn to time and time again in my herbal practice. A large number of my clients that come through the door are on Omeprazole and other proton pump inhibitors. And I see it as my duty as a medical herbalist to try and get them off that medication if at all possible, because these drugs are not great for us long term. They block our absorption of our proteins, of our key minerals, etc. And modern um, scientists are beginning to understand the long term consequences of using these. So increased risk of things like osteoporosis, increased risk of dementia as well. So it's not a drug to be on if there's a way of coming off of it. And Meadowsweet is my plant that I use to get people off of these medications. A slow wean down off of the proton pump inhibitor at the same time as using Meadowsweet, always as a herbal tea in that instance. And I've had a number of patients who have successfully managed to get down off of that medication and get their digestive system working effectively again. So it is one that's got a fantastic um, history of um, reducing that tendency for 
or dependency on these um, proton pump inhibitors. So one that I would say if you ever have indigestion, try this first before taking those medications because it's an awful lot safer and an awful lot gentler as well.